Hey everyone, it's Gamefruit Pulp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be jumping back into something that used to be a staple on my channel, and I'm hoping to get back into it. Uh, something that I've always enjoyed doing and uh, in Minecraft, and I hope to return to it starting with this video. So uh, we're on the Initiacraft server. For those of you who don't know, that is a Townie server I'm a co-owner of. Um, just a vanilla-based server with a few plugins, including Townie and Religion and uh, some food plugins and that kind of stuff. And today we're going to be doing a review of my town. So we're going to be going through my town and hoping to have the return of town tours uh, lead off of this. Currently my town, super small, only one building, but you got to start somewhere. And so we're going to go through my my one building today and uh, just sort of explain for anyone from the Unitscraft server who wants to be in a town tour, the kind of stuff that you need to send me so that I know you're interested. So my town is in a cool little cove here. Um, the name of the town is Bluffside Cove. If you know me and you know my, my, you've been around my channel for a long time, you know I always build my towns to a specific theme. And this time I chose a theme of um, modern builds. It's something that I'm not very good at, something I haven't really experimented very much with. And so I thought I would, I would challenge myself, found this super, super awesome location, and I wanted to sort of do something fitting of that. So we have the one build right now. We'll call it my house because... I've got to live somewhere in my town, and this is the only place available right now, so we'll call it that. I, I tried to sort of base it off of a, um, a sort of modern build that I found online, but ultimately I sort of did design it how I wanted to, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, to be honest. I tried to uh, have some good contrasting colors. I wanted the orange of the acacia wood. Let me bring my inventory up here. I wanted the orange of the acacia wood as the deck on the bottom floor, and then as you go up more to the main floor, I wanted the floor of the house um and the stairs like i tried to have everything blend but not be all the same uh because one thing with modern is that you do want to have same colors and same sort of block style so we had the walls uh be a combination of concrete and stone bricks with the black stained glass to contrast the white concrete and then the interior um wall on the bottom floor we have a sandstone just to fit with the pool um that drops down from here onto the ground and so what i wanted the theme to look like is that the base here this deck from the exterior, it looks like it's a solid piece that extends from the deck level all the way down to this floor. Something that I do like about this build, something that I like how it turned out, is this little barbecue room out here. Um, I, I have these vill Illager banners just around just for a little bit of uh, detail, but ultimately these are the sort of things, these little rooms like this are the sort of things that I think make this makes this build quite nice. And then we have a sort of area over here that we'll get into at the end of the video. So I just wanted to think, since because there's only one build right now in the town of Bluffside Cove, I do want to sort of go over what my plans are for the area. I plan on sort of slowly developing this whole inlet here, um, working in both directions. Obviously, one of the difficulties, one of the challenges is going to be the roads in the area. Because we're on these hills, these super high um, sort of jutting cliffs, which makes part of, part of the reason why I thought modern would look really cool here, uh, because it is sort of... One of my personal opinions with modern builds is that they need to be in places with really nice scenery because if your house is made of all glass, you don't want to be looking at somebody else's house. Um, so that's sort of my thought process on modern homes. And so by putting it on this really amazing cove, what we do is we create an opportunity for a lot of cool houses that we can sort of just put on all the little peaks. Um, however, the roads to get to those houses will be more of a challenge. So that's one thing I plan on working with through um, going forward on this world. So that's why you will notice right here, this is the only part of the build that's not done and it's the main entrance because I don't really know where I want it to go yet. And so that's why that's sitting there like that unfinished. But working up from the bottom deck up to the upper level deck, uh, we have a majority of it as open face, but we do have a little portion right here covered, which takes us into our infinity pool down here, which includes a little drop down onto the main, um, the lower deck, which is more just for show. I wouldn't imagine people swimming in a pool would actually go down there, but... Uh, something I thought would add just a little bit, a little sort of neatness to the um, to the actual site. And then coming up here, we have actually, you know what we can do is, I guess we'll throw this white carpet away. We'll throw this away. We'll listen to some music as we tour the uh, build. Yes, yeah, so the upper, upper area, the furnishing of this house hasn't been done yet because I haven't decided how I want to do it. But obviously we have a little storage here. We'll call it like a cabana closet for the pool. And then we have this open face, which is uh, suitable for some deck furniture of, uh, of some sort. I mean, like I said, decided on what to do there. And then we have this open face, very large two sort of two story um, entrance here. And I wanted to have a sort of contrast and height level because 
you don't want to see the big thing with modern builds is, is the lines right you want to have consistent lines and I also didn't want it to be just a box um, so what I chose to do is on this side we have the normal sort of a uh, little bit high four four block high first floor and you have the obviously the floor line cutting across the, the white exterior but then on this side I wanted to sort of have a, a difference a break in the sight line so what I did is I did a higher two-story entrance here and in theory these would be sliding uh, pocket doors made of the glass obviously in this case they're just gonna be open because we don't have that kind of technology in this game yet but um, that's what we have here and you continue along the side and you have this sort of viewing room over here on the main floor as well and that sort of sticks out gives you a really nice view when you come in here stone cutter aside of of the surroundings on both both ends here and so it's something that i thought was a little cool again just adding to the definition and the details of the house we don't want it to be just a big square and another angle that i really like i kind of flew by it earlier is this angle here so you have the different sort of lines right you have the sight lines from here but then you also have the jut away here the jut away here and then the deck coming out and that's something i wanted to try and capitalize on this build is I wanted to make sure there were different things to look at. You don't want to just look at the building and see, wow, there's a square. Um, but that's sort of my thought process on this. And then the interior, obviously brick floor, and I wanted to keep the acacia theme from the deck and carry it up through the house, but not in a main role. So just as a sort of um, secondary accent role. So we have it as the, the railing here with the acacia plank uh, or acacia slabs going across. Obviously come up here again, not furnished yet, haven't decided how to do it, but we have the sort of main area here, and a little bedroom with some bookshelves and stuff. Uh, you may be wondering why I chose to do this sort of paneling uh, trap doors on the roof, and that's because we have green roof on top, which you'll see in a moment. Um, and I, again, sticking with the modern theme, a lot of modern houses, you get some sort of stuff like that, uh, which is very uh, sort of conscious of the impact of the build. Um, on, on the environment, so we have the green roofs on every roof of the building. Um, so there's this sort of the little jet out that we have from before, and then heading up to the top floor, we have a green roof as well. And I chose to cover that up with just some nice uh, dark oak um, trap doors, which I thought fit the theme of the square, like the modern square theme well. Um, and the color was okay. The rest of the trap doors didn't really fit, so it was more a process of elimination as opposed to finding one that I perfectly liked but I thought that the trap doors worked out well. Um, working back down into the basement, we have the altar of Cappy. Um, everyone should be worshiping him, but if not, then it is what it is. So he's our town's God. So we have the altar of Cappy there. Eventually Cappy will get his own church, but for now that's where we pray to him. Uh, and then we have the sort of sandstone theme continuing through here. This is another area I really like where you sort of have this glass floor here where you can come up and view out across but you can also view close in as well and, and I think that that's some this I really tried to focus on the smaller details of the build um, because with modern builds obviously the the primary details are not very diverse it's a pretty basic usually a pretty basic exterior design so the interior I really wanted to try and make nice uh, specifically with the basement so we got some paintings up on the walls and that kind of thing the roof the ceiling line here is a little bit wonky but I did what I could with um, working off of the floor from above because I wanted to have the high ceilings as well. So um, that's sort of what we got. But now that it's nighttime, we can get another view of the build, do a quick fly around, and that is going to be everything um, for this build. Like I said, right now Bluffside Cove is this one building, but I wanted to get started with these town tours somewhere. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. And if you do want to have your town tour, you don't have your town tour, I should say, uh, just shoot me a message on Discord on and. Uh, I assume that you'll be in the Needs to Craft Discord if you're there, so just send me a message and, and say I'm interested in having my town be toured for a video, and, and I'll definitely come check it out and see if it's uh, if it's something that I think will fit well in my channel. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, first of all, you should come and check out the Needs to Craft server. IP is in the description down below. Like I said at the beginning, we're a vanilla townie-based server. Uh, newly started a month and a bit old, and uh, we would love some more players, so I hope you join us. And if you're also new to the channel and you enjoyed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get see future content. Uh, if you're a returning viewer and you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button and share the channel with some of your friends so that they can also find our channel and we can continue to grow this community. Uh, that's pretty much everything. Thank you guys very much for watching. Like I said, this is a town tour on the Need to Craft server, so we're playing some Minecraft. My name is Game Fruit Pulp. I will catch you guys all next time. I hope you have a good day. See you later.